The last step to solving a problem is to find the unknowns. So at this point, we have these relations, and what I want to do is I want to find the unknowns. So in this problem, I know what A is, I know what B is, and I know what theta is, but I don't know what Cx is, and I don't know what Cy is. So let's solve for those. This guy, it's, in this case, it's pretty simple, right? Cx is going to be minus A minus B cos theta, and Cy is going to be equal to minus B sine theta. So there you go. This is my solution, right? This tells me what Cx and Cy is in terms of the quantities that I already know. So I can go ahead and plug a and b and theta into my calculator and get numerical values for c if I want. Now notice, I haven't even thought about what the question of the problem was. I can go back now and re read the question. It says, how long was the last leg of Adam's walk? And from what direction did he arrive? So they're not really asking me for cx and cy. They're asking me for the length of the vector and the angle phi. Well, what is the length of the vector? The length of the vector c squared is given by cx squared plus cy squared. And so that means that c is just the square root of cx squared plus cy squared. So this is my solution. What about the angle phi? Well, let's go back to my picture. There's a nice right triangle here, right? All of this is c sub x. This is c sub y. And so the tangent of the angle phi is going to be opposite over adjacent. So opposite over adjacent, that's the tangent of the angle phi. So I'm also going to have that the tangent of the angle phi is opposite over adjacent. And so this tells me that phi is the inverse tangent or the arctangent of cy divided by cx. And again, because we know what these numbers are, we can plug into the calculator. We can plug into the calculator here. We can plug into the calculator here and get numerical answers. This right here is a complete solution to the problem. So this is the solution that we were looking for.